What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Pokemon Stadium. With this video, we're going to be showing off the Pika Cup. Uh, obviously, what I'm reading here is a, is a cup tournament open to the lowest level Pokemon. Strategy is the key here. Now, uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I've been doing a lot of recording for this and uh, trying to pick out the right rental Pokemon team for this. And uh, as simple as this tournament may seem, it is not as simple as I thought. <laughs> uh, I've been just getting clapped by like the last two trainers. And uh, yeah, it hasn't been fun to say the very least. So I was asking um, people from, uh, you know, from YouTube for the community to see uh, which Pokemon is best suited for this, like which rental teams will be best suited for, uh, for this cup challenge. So I did come up with a, uh, a team that I'm hoping will take me all the way. So we're going to actually try that and see if this team can uh, get us all the way to the top. Now we have eight trainers that we got to take on, of course, the same like in the uh, Petite Cup. And once we beat all eight trainers, then we are awarded with the Pika Cup Trophy. So I'm going to go ahead and pick out the team that hopefully will... Get the job done and uh, get us that trophy. So let me go ahead and register the Pokemon here and I shall return once I do. Okay, so I was reading in one of the comments. I'll probably post it uh, somewhere in, in the video. Uh, this team here. So I know the last two battles is going to be a little bit difficult. So thankfully, since I am playing this on the Nintendo Switch Online, there are save states that I may use. Or if I do get really lucky, I don't have to really use save states. I can probably just use the uh, continues that I will probably get uh, during this tournament. So we'll see what happens. But anyways, let's go ahead and start off this uh, Pokemon challenge here because we already registered the Pokemon. So let's uh, go ahead and quit here and battle. Should have just went to here first, but it's whatever. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's start the Pika Cup Challenge. All right, let's see what we got here. Got nothing but bug types, mostly bug, grass types, it seems. Okay, um, I think Lapras has, uh, yeah, Lapras has Ice Beam. I think I may want to switch, well, not switch, but pick that, this, and, hmm. Yeah, let's go with this. Underway, Pokemon Tournament Pika Cup. This is a tournament for passionate, young, up and coming Pokemon. Now, I haven't done the Pika Cup or any other any other cup challenges when I first played this game. I just wasn't that interested in doing any of these things. I just played the uh, the gym leader challenge, I think. And the mini games, obviously. So, doing these uh, tournaments, these cup tournaments, is it's a real challenge here. It is an absolute challenge. Scratch. What now? A decent hit. I'm surprised Lapras is in this. Like as far as like to pick for rentals. But not all of the Pokemon are available, which is kind of weird. Like they have the Nido Kings and Nido Queens. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. Like I know I saw in the rental selection they don't have like the Scythers, the Jinxes, the Electabuzzes. No, they don't have those, so. Eh. The battle has become one side. So you get to only select like specific types. Oh god, sleep powder. sleep powder. And you missed. Alright. I don't know. I think they probably shouldn't have. I don't think they should have selected uh, Lapras for these uh, rental teams here. 
or at least like the final evolutions for some of these Pokemon. I think that might be a little bit unfair, but then again, I don't know. I don't. I, I didn't make the game, so <laughs> it is what it is. All right, off rip. I can tell you right now, I could probably use Lapras for the rest of this, for the rest of these battles here, because all these Pokemon are weak to ice. <laughs> I actually, yeah, yeah, all of them are weak to ice, yeah, because Geodude is part ground and, and uh, rock, so I might just one-shot everybody with Lapras, honestly. Alright, who else can I pick out of this? Uh, yeah, I might as well. What kind of battle can we expect to see? Begin round two. Alright, Pidgeotto. Who is much faster than Lapras, so let's see what happens. Oh no, I'm faster. <laughs> I honestly thought that Pidgeotto was faster than Lapras. Okay. I gotta remember the you know the levels and stuff too. That also plays a part in it too. I just use Bubble Beam. It don't matter what move I use against Geo Dude, it's gonna take it out with one hit anyways. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. Oh, it's Ivysaur! The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one side. Okay, let's see here. Ice beam that sucker. Absolutely. And there goes the Flawless battle. victory. <laughs> Flawless victory. All right, let's continue. Okay. Let's see what I'm working with here. We got some water types here, mostly. Uh, let's see, Needle King. No. Let's see, water types, water types. What does Poliwhirl have? Earthquake, that may be good. Maybe, but I'm going to probably stick with. Yeah, forget it. <laughs> Just stick with what I got. The upcoming battle looks promising. We're into round three. Okay, let's see here. Thunderbolt and Thunder Wave. Okay. Good moves here. Hmm. It withstood a thunderbolt. Interesting. What will the trainer do now? Very head. interesting. What a furious battle. How's that? Super effective. I mean, if it was thunder, that would be a different story, but... You can't really rely on that move nowadays. Okay, time to probably switch out. How will the type difference affect that? I'm going to paralyze it first. Get you Thunderwave! Oops, it's paralyzed! What now? There, it's a hit! Neither one is conceding an eight. Here's a Pokemon thing. Oh, it's Kadabra. Kadabra. What's that? And the weak spot. Will this Pokemon okay. change the 
flow of battle? Thank you. A psychic flash! There's a difference in the All right, who's next? reserve Pokemon. Magmar. Oh. oh. Magikarp. <laughs> Magikarp, I mean. <laughs> the remaining Pokemon count is <laughs> Magmar. Alright, let's see. Hey, you psychic again. There's the attack. The bear hit. Gone. It's a one hit. Poor, poor Magikarp. Poor Magikarp. And there goes the battle! Alright. Trainer number three, I think, right? We got another extra continue. And now on to the fourth trainer. Oh, it's a burglar. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? Some fire types, it seems. A psychic type and a ground type. So off rip we gotta we gotta go with uh water types here i mean we can go for ground types too i don't think it will hurt us um i don't want to use well you know i could i could pretty much use nido king for this actually you know what oh this dude has fisher okay okay this may work Okay, Growlithe, my little favorite puppy. Now. Here's the first move. A decent hit. That may flinch me. And I was right. It can't make a move. What a furious battle. Hmm, interesting. Oh, it must have had a counter or something. I think it might. I think it might have had counter. I think that's why I, I made the move first. Nine tails. Yep. How will the type difference affect that? Body slam. What now? Oh man, that crit. Okay, that may give me the edge here. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. Yes, there is. Okay, another easy one here. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one-sided. Ice me! It's doubly effective! God, It's a one-hit wonder! I don't know why I haven't chose Lapras and from the beginning. The I really don't know why I haven't chose Lapras. Lapras has been pretty much carrying this whole... This, <laughs> this whole thing so far. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can actually keep this thing going. I know the last two trainers are going to be hard. So uh, we'll see if they'll pull through in the next video where we take on the last four trainers of the Pika tournament, the Pika Cup, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, see you in the next video. Peace.